everybody welcome back to my channel um i'm aware this is probably not what you expected me to look like at the start of this video but i thought today i would do a get ready with me because i am having a filmy work day and i'm gonna get ready so i thought i'd film it whilst i'm here um and show you the products that i use every single day I am aware I do look a bit like death and having a struggle with my eye bags at the moment and feel looking tired, so apologise for that. But yeah, I've dried my washed and dried my hair. It doesn't look amazing because I haven't styled it yet, but it's dried, so that's the main thing. Um, and I'm about to use the Elizabeth Arden Eight Hour Miracle Hydrating Mist. I use this every morning um, before I do my makeup. I just think it's amazing and it just refreshes your face. So we use that and then I'm going to go in with my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This moisturiser is amazing, like I really love this stuff. I'm not usually one to um, try like high-end moisturisers. I've tried a few but like sometimes I'm like are they as good as um, you know the ones you can get on the high street um so um i don't always go for them but i tried this one and i really like it i need to get the night cream now because this ain't good for the night um i'm just gonna clip this bit of hair back because it's annoying me um so i don't know if you guys will have seen but i have had my hair cut which you can already tell, so you didn't need me to tell you that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I look completely different, and me and my dressing gown is also not what you're expect you're you're used to. So yeah, we're going. You're bring I'm bringing you a real me right now. So I hope you're enjoying it. Um, right. The next item that I'm going to use is the Dermalogica Skin Perfect Primer. This primer is it going to focus? Can you see that? There we go. Um, is amazing. Like honestly, if I were, if there's anything that I would recommend you trying, is this. This primer is great. Um, I've been using this for a while and I really really enjoy it. A, a little bit goes a long way. So um, that's probably why I like it the most because it lasts a good amount of time, and you know, you don't have to worry. Um, it also keeps your your makeup on like perfect, which is great. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so um, what have I got to catch you guys up on? Well, um, not a huge amount. I'm going home in like a week. I might be home when you're seeing this. I don't know. Um, you have to follow me on my Instagram. Um, you can find out. Um, I'm going home for a week very soon, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, I haven't been home since I moved here. So it's going to be really nice to just hang out with my parents and my family and my mum's dog, which is like the cutest thing ever, um, which I will be filming a vlog. Hopefully I will film a decent amount once whilst I'm home because I think you guys will quite enjoy that. Um, it's nice to see like what people get up to, I suppose. Um, <laughs> My base is complete. Please ignore my foundation lips. They don't look particularly nice. Um, I have been using this little combo for my foundation recently. It's the True Match Foundation and Concealer. Honestly, amazing combo. If you have ever wanted to try the Dior Forever, Go Forever Glow Skin Foundation, I think it's something along those lines. Um, actually, I have it here. This one. Forever Skin Glow Foundation from Dior. This is my tan shade, hence why it looks quite dark. Um, this foundation is amazing, and this is the best drugstore version of that foundation. And this is amazing. So if you're wanting to try the Dior one, try this. Um, and if you really love this, then invest in the Dior one. But this is amazing. I love it. Um, I'm now going to do my eyebrows. So I have been using the 
benefit precisely my brow pencil it's not gonna focus so i'm not gonna try but um yeah i love this and it's probably i really struggle with eyebrow pencils because i don't like to go too crazy with my eyebrows but i just want something that does the job you know and soap and glory had a really good one but they don't sell soap and glory here so i bought a benefit one instead which is way more expensive but hey ho roll with it right bronzer this isn't really a bronzer i use this as a powder because i think it's a really nice kind of colored powder um i bought it once to use as a um bronzer and quickly realized that it didn't do anything other than be the shade of my skin so i was like well this is pointless um so i just use it as a powder now and i really like it i've been using it for ages um Gotta make the most of these products that you buy and find out they're not quite right. Um, so love that. And now I'm gonna go in with my favourite favourite product that I'm like obsessed with at the moment. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. First of all, the packaging is beautiful, and second of all, the product is just amazing. So I, when I first got this, I was like tanned. And I found that the bronzer didn't actually look like bronzer on my skin. It just looked like you can't really see it. Um, but now that I am back to my pale, natural skin, um, I actually love it. I think it is the perfect shade for my uh, skin tone. Which can be difficult sometimes because I hate, like I don't want to look too orange. But I do want to look bronzed and it is so easy to look orange these days so um yeah I really love this and um I don't think I will be using anything else anytime soon because it's great obviously if I ever fake tan again I won't be using this because it doesn't give me the right darkness bronzed kind of glow that I need but whilst I'm pale, it does. Um, I'm really starting to get used to being pale now. Um, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you would have seen my uh, more tanned skin. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to go in with my with the highlight pop that up here I apologise if you can hear any random noises like even though I live in kind of like a fairly quiet area I mean it's busy but it's quite a there's always noises going on so I apologise for that um, and I am right by the road because this is the only place that has nice light in this whole flat um, for those of you who are wondering this is the um fair to medium um color situation is that the right word color yeah fair to medium color because i'm sure they have a darker one um and when i am tanned i've been using this catrice um mineral bronzer this stuff is really really nice this is quite dark as you can see compared to this one so this is my tanned bronzer, not my pale bronzer. When I'm pale, I look like an orange. Kind of umphalumper, the vibes, we don't want that. Um, so what's next? Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit of the bronzer on my eyes. So some people find this kind of weird, but I really like to put bronzer on my eyes because I really like the shade and I think it just like, makes my face blend in quite nicely together. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. 
I'm not massively into eyeshadow, so that is as far as I go. I mean, I do like eyeshadow. I'm just not, you know, very good at it, so I don't really try too hard. Then I'm going to go in with a bit of blush. Blush is something I never um, before was very into. The last time I used to wear blush was when I was at school. Um, but I bought this little Nip and Fab um, palette and it's got some really lovely colours in it. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, I'm now going back to my highlight. I'm really all over the place this morning. I apologise. Um, there's just lots going on outside and I'm forgetting where I am. I'm just going to put a bit of highlight under my brow bone. Um, so that's basically my face done. I'm just going to do my eyelashes. Um, so, so when it comes to eyelashes, I'm quite, like, I don't really care too much. Um, in terms of like, you know, I don't have eyelash extensions. I don't really think too much about how my eyelashes look they're kind of really short anyway so it's hard um but i'm gonna start with curling them um this color is from primark if you're wondering and then i have been using this new mascara which is the ysl um volume effect faux curls or the curler um and you know what I, i'm enjoying it i just i'm i feel like my favorite all-time mascara that i've ever used is the benefit roller gal i think it's called roller gal roller lash roller, lash, roller gal i don't think it's called roller, roller gal where they are from roller lash um Oh, I love it and I always forget to buy it but sometimes I'm just like oh I'll try a new one um I do actually really like this one I would recommend if you're looking for a new mascara you want to try something different this one is good I have tried a few mascaras in my time not many um and again I'm not really into um you know going crazy when it comes to makeup um, but i did actually try a smashbox one and i did not enjoy it um it didn't do anything for my eyelashes and like i said i've got really short eyelashes they're also quite straight they don't really curl um hence why i have to curl them with the eyelash curler um and i really struggled to find mascaras that actually hold my eyelashes up and don't make them look um exactly the same you know um so yeah but i'm enjoying this one so far it doesn't hold my eyelashes up how i would love them to but my eyelashes don't really cooperate so i mean i'm not too fast that is my eyelashes done i am gonna put a bit of lipstick on um I haven't got oh I don't know. so I have been using this lipstick for ages. I love this lipstick so much. This is the Rimmel London Kate lipstick in 54 rock and roll nude and I love it. Possibly the best lipstick that I own. I need to go back and try and buy a new one. I don't know if they still sell it. And then I'm going to pop a little bit of lip gloss on the top because I'm really enjoying lip gloss at the moment. Never thought I'd say that, but I am. Um, this is the Iconic London Love Struck Lip Gloss. Um, and this is actually a lip plumping lip gloss, which uh, I am loving it gives that like slight tingling feeling which i do kind of enjoy um but i really love the color of them i've also got another one here this is the 
do not disturb color a bit more pinky i have some more but they're in a box under my tripod situation that i built so i can't really show you but they are amazing i would recommend trying them if you're looking for a nice lip gloss because i i hate the idea of having a lip gloss that's sticky and this isn't sticky it's really nice and you can just you know your hair will stick to it but that's just like a lip gloss thing isn't it so that is my finished everyday makeup i um i hope you enjoyed this i'm a i apologize if um this wasn't very entertaining for you guys i also um apologize for my face at the start of this video but you know got to keep it real right so yeah that is all i have to show you today i'm now going to do my hair i'm not going to show you how i style my hair because to be completely honest with you i don't know how to style it um i had it cut two days ago so i haven't yet what well, like styled it myself so today is the day and i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to do to it so i will save that for another video if you'd like to see me style this hair let me know pop it in the comments and i will do that for you guys um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this if you'd like to see more videos like this do let me know if you have any requests pop them below um hit the like button if you want um the if you want to be notified when i post a video you can click the little bell button and if you're not already please do subscribe because i would love to see you here again there's more videos coming i am on a roll with videos i've also got some fun exciting things planned for christmas so you know if you love christmas you better stick around because i love christmas anyway i am really going off on a tangent now so i'm gonna leave you to it I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.